my feelings too that we need to, to change the process. I, I agree. I, I don't swim. But Look at like you guys. <laughs> 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 Maybe not. I think we should look at the process for next year, and I, I guess I can't support anything for this year. Okay, and look at it real seriously with Mike and so on next year, and you know, and we'll be able to put the budget for the Start this in February or. Actually, we should do it in November when we're doing our budget request. Yeah, it really honestly should be involved in that process because that's when we set aside the money to cover the budget line items. And if, and I mean, it would defeat the purpose to come back in April and start discussing the opportunity of an increase for guards when the budget was already set in November. I mean, that's two, one of the things that you fall into an issue with. You know, and what you folks, the three young men are doing, you're, you're setting the stage for, you know, starting a process of change. So it's not like you're coming up here, and certainly it's not, you know, vain. So we'll certainly look at it. This is a very good document. And uh, we, yeah, exactly. we should have this in November. And it should come and, to the And I wish I would have the information that things hadn't changed. But like I said, I got it about a week before we were employed, and almost, I mean, by that weekend, I was hearing things about it, and that's when we reacted. So, and to your great detriment, uh, the process did not begin until probably right mm -hmm. a week before you yep. actually got those contracts. So, so um, as far as it goes with us, we reacted as soon as we could, and that's about all that we could do in present circumstance. You know, and convey to the other you know, lifeguards out there, we, sh you know, we sure hope that you do stay on. It's not that we don't want you or need you. you know, we certainly don't want to convey the message that you know we don't value you your work. You can look at this a little good. deeper and see if there's any um, if there's any way to want to really look into that. Well we did some uh, some discussion on what we thought was available in the uh, in the budget and we thought there was a small amount of mobility available within the budget. Not one of the things I, I already alluded to when I spoke with the uh, with the guards was is that um, that I didn't want them to be misguided in the idea that there I did not see based upon our expenditures that there was the significant increase that was being discussed and by significant I mean roughly a dollar. However, we did see room that would um, that would support maybe a quarter uh, increase on the scale. Um, you know, I, I think, you know, if we if there's any wiggle room with anything, you know, I'd sure like to have that, you know, look into it. Mike and I spent some time looking at the option. I mean, okay. it's already, I guess what I would say is, is that being that this is somewhat of a labor negotiation, I have been hesitant to talk about what those numbers are, but it, it ranges right around a quarter an hour employment on the scale. Uh, it seemed to be available. Um, Mike understood what that meant from the perspective of his budget, uh, and that it may cause him to be to be very close on the edge. But uh, but that based upon our numbers, that could be sustained within the budget. It just basically puts us into a situation that if something happens out there, um, there is it gives us less room to act if a problem occurs and something has to be done out there. Like if we have to spend twice as much as our budget maintenance, but then we run into some problem circumstances. I mean, that's really what, what mm -hmm. you're talking about eliminating and doing uh, with that type of change. Mm -hmm. I mean, if there's wiggle room in, in the line item for salaries, then that money should be used for maintenance anyway. Well, no, we were looking at, the, since they do not fall under the special assessment, we were looking at the entire budget from a perspective of what it could support. Uh, so that would be part of that. Salary was just part of our, our consideration. Okay, because I was going to say within within the salary part of the budget that's apportioned anyways, it seemed like there was maybe a little more wiggle room than the 25 cents. Now, I don't know about the total budget because I don't know how much we uh, gain or lose the exact figures, but within... Actually, every, I believe every council member may have a copy of 
when two months ago or a month ago, what last, what this current year's budget is in the packet. Mm -hmm. For some reason, I was not able to dig it out of my mind. Um, but it's the one that basically says at the bottom, this was as of the end of April. Right here. And, uh, yes, thank you. So, uh, thank as far as what I've presented, that's only with regards to what was actually apportioned for salaries. I don't, I, I can't testify to what the city does or does not make a year on that as a total venture. Um, I also know in years past there's been a, and this is just something I just remembered, a discussion about concessions. I know that it's one of the few areas that makes a profit for, for uh, within the different areas of the pool as a venture completely. Uh, there was talk with the past city administrator uh, and the administrator before that, it's even in the contract that if we would make a certain profit on concessions that that would be reflected with, I don't know if it'd be a bonus or or some kind of reflection of that with the guards. And I know that's never been, uh, it's, it's, I don't think it's even been brought up as an issue ever before. Uh, we briefly spoke about it when I came mm -hmm. out, but you didn't mention it, it was in the agreement. I'll go back uh, to the it, agreement. It, <coughs> the idea it's that it's possible. Okay, so it is it's, not written. It's not, it's not like uh, it's set in stone. Okay. It, you're going to see some of it. it it's, it's a, if, the council feels that there's been enough of a reflection of uh, profit, then one it's of the possible. Things, one of the things we would have to discuss there is how we would go about doing that, whether it would be in a mass um, a scenario, or because then you have the, the process, the tedious process of trying to track each individual and guard. That's the, the perspective. That's the uh, problems we've had with it in the past, is how do you actually do that so that it would be fair based on number of hours worked and who's actually sold concessions. And who's on the, the pool committee or uh, council appointed pool committee or the just... No, this, we are it. We are it. We go to the council in the church? Yeah, we do. That would be a gym as we part of the parks. <laughs> part of the parks. Maybe we should have a discussion with Mike Fisher. That's what I think we I should do. We'll, come back to this. I, I think we will. Weeks. I would say it's not a bad issue, but uh, I think we should talk with Mike and a few more facts. So. I would ask the parks committee to visit about it and get him involved. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. You did a very nice job of presenting. Thank you very much.